Okay, so frozen shoulder, the medical term is adhesive capsulitis. Though ye condition both common here in patients with type 2 diabetes. So it's usually common in patients over the age of 50 and um, people with type 2 diabetes have it. The cause is very broad. We're not sure how it happens. It's still under investigation. They can, symptoms can last anywhere from one year to three years. Okay, so it's very broad. Now, there's no cure for this, okay, but there's lots of management for this. Now, we don't have to have a scan or anything to diagnose this. Yeah, physical examination with a specialist can be diagnosed. So for me, with my patients with frozen shoulder, I would just do a full assessment, have a look if they're over 50, have a look if they have type 2 diabetes, do some physical examination, and then they can have a frozen shoulder. So the management is treating the symptoms. Okay. Symptoms of their pain, loss of range of movement, stiffness, frozen movements. This is what the frozen shoulder is. So I will treat it definitely physical exercise, range of movement exercises, pain management, anti-inflammatory medication, so ibuprofen or naproxen, different anti-inflammatory medication. If this doesn't help, then we can go around, a, a, go, go around the route of a steroid injection. A corticosteroid injection is very good. Sorry, my lights have come off. A corticosteroid injection is very good for... Um, to reduce the swelling and inflammation in the shoulder joint itself as well. Um, and then these are the three main treatments. So pain management, anti-inflammatory, physical exercise, and a steroid injection as well.